Hi, this is another creation from the Pure Lever Stop team. Enjoy. Here we go. Hi, folks. My name is Joel Terrian. My name is Mike Botme. And we're here to just talk to you a little bit about our beginnings on the internet from the start. Because, you know, first of all, congratulations on taking action. Now, you took action for one of a couple of reasons. At least this is why Mike and I took action for me back in 1998. And you, what, about 2002? Yeah. In that range or so. About that range, yeah. You know, you're either completely financially strapped, which was my situation, um, or you just want to change. You're tired of the day-to-day. -day. You're tired of the case. grind. I, I needed a change. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh, it, it, was, it, it was a move I'll never forget. Yes, it can be very intimidating. Yes, the internet is very much overwhelming. There's lots out there. Let me stop you right there yeah. now. What I want to say, what Mike's going to give you, how we got started, but the point right at the beginning, Mike knew nothing about the internet. I knew nothing about the internet. Mike was a stonemason who wanted to change in his life, and I was um, basically depressed at the time. I, I, I finished a degree in cardiac rehab. I got a job in an amazing hospital, and six months into that job, became depressed for the very, very first time in my life because I realized that that job was not going to provide me with what I wanted. Exactly. What, you know, because and, and that was evident because right out of school I got a fifty-two thousand dollars a year, which is great, great, great salary, money. Great salary. Only to find out three months later, talking to my colleagues who had been there for twenty years, <laughs> that they were making fifty-four thousand dollars a year. Great <laughs> increase to look at. So I quit. I was depressed. Um, I shouldn't have quit because I ended up living off my girlfriend's salary in an eight hundred square foot uh, townhouse, and. You got to start from somewhere, though. Yeah, and, 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 and but the difference is I almost quit. Yeah. You know, a lot of people quit because they're just afraid to get started. Mm -hmm. And I remember back then, you know, spending $300 on an affiliate system and then $200 somewhere else. And some, you know, money just was flowing out way more than it was coming in. It was in. coming in, sure. But the difference is back then there was absolutely no mentors. It, it, it was just... It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare, but there was something deep inside of me that really said, I'm gonna make this happen. I'm right. gonna make this happen, and I educated myself. It took years, it took two years before I made my first penny, and the girlfriend, by the way, is my wife today, because I owe her a lot because of that, but my girlfriend at the time, Alona, pretty much gave me the ultimate ultimatum, which is, it's your computer or it's me. And- Well, you were logging in hours upon hours and hours hours and no return yeah 12 hours a day guys of a negative return I was you know I would see the next greatest thing out there and I'd buy it and see no results and buy the next great sure. thing and then you literally take my, my my I can't remember if she was my wife or my girlfriend at that point but let's just call her my wife because you're my wife today literally stealing her credit card and buying things on it because I yeah you know, I know but it's the truth finally made a go of it Mike and I have known each other since about kindergarten yeah. and I'll never forget it, folks. Never forget this in my life. Once I started to figure out how to use the internet to generate an income, the very, very first time I woke up the next morning and actually had made money. While you were sleeping. While I was sleeping. Beautiful thing. Now, I think it was only like $6.97 or something, but that was like an epiphany for me to go, this is possible. Yeah, it worked. It worked. Now I just have to duplicate it 10 times and bring in yeah. 60 bucks. Well, yeah, and then 100 times yeah. and then 1,000 times exactly. and so forth. So we come from your humble beginnings. There's no doubt about that, okay? It's just we kept pushing forward. The difference is now you have the mentors. You have the team of people that can make you and take you forward. So you've gotten your domain name. You're about to get up and running, and you're registering your domain and you get an error that says, oh, domain's already registered. And then you go, oh my God, no, this wasn't for me. Oh my God, I got my first stumbling block. I'm three minutes into it. I don't even know what a domain name it is. is. for you, anyone can do it. That's the point I'm trying to make, yeah. is just push through it. We are here for you. I'm gonna pass it over to Mike, because he's got a similar but very different story of how he went from being a stonemason to an internet guru. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, the, the story goes, yes, Joel and I have a long history together, going back to the elementary school days, and um, I wanted to become part of something different. That's why I joined, I got into the stone trade. One 
to be in the, you know, basically the oldest trade in the world. And um, got taken on by a Scottish team um, out of Scotland and then proceeded to work on the Parliament buildings in Canada. And in the process, I was in the trade uh, almost 10, 12 years. And then uh, Faith Hada, where back in my hometown, I, what was a Friday night or something like that? I yeah, bumped into you. yeah, yeah, Bump, bumped into me, uh, and this is this was it was actually at a pizza parlor. Yeah, and Mike said, "Hey, Joel, I hear you got this internet business going," and uh, and I said, "Yeah, stone dust, stone chips, I'm I'm running running ragged." And and the truth of the matter is, folks, it is a tough trade. I don't know and, how he uh, did it personally. And yeah, I was very close to you know, probably physically the, breaking the, down the, the really? next two years, going in through you know back surgery, knee surgery. All the old masons that were ready to retire, you know, their knees blown out and backs blown out. So I knew that was the direction I was going to, and I had to make a change. And um, I saw what Joel had going on. Like he said, we bumped into each other at the pizza place. It was all dirty. He said, "Why don't you come on up to my place?" And uh, lo and behold, I had no idea. He even lived three minutes from my place, and we ended up connecting. Went to his place, showed me a couple of programs that he had started to develop. And um, it, it blew me away. It blew me away because, I mean, I, I didn't even have a PC at home. Yeah. So when I saw, like, for instance, the, you know. Let me stop you there for a sec. This is the truth. <laughs> Joel, I don't have a PC. I said, no problem. I'll get you one. Get him a PC. Next day he calls me and goes, uh, Joel, where do I plug it in? How do I hook this thing up? That's the, and, and it's funny now, but I that's didn't even literally. I turn it on. I was like, scared to turn it yeah. on. Yeah. Really? Ask me to carve something and create something, not a problem, but tell me to turn on a PC, no way. <laughs> that, that's it the was truth. frightening for and, me. And it, really was, was. And, and, and it was refreshing for me because what I saw in Mike, I saw in myself when I first got started about four years before that. Yeah. You know, coming from cardiac rehab, something completely different, and then jumping onto the internet and, and, and literally with passion and, and time making it happen. So... Mike jumps on board. I'm going to give my perspective, and then you yeah. can give yours again. Mike jumps on, on board as far as just becoming a reseller of ours. Yeah, an affiliate. An affiliate. Becomes an affiliate and just goes crazy with it. The, you know, the one thing I'll give Mike is he once he saw what was possible, he had no fear. That's something that a lot of people uh, out there might have right now is a little bit of fear of the unknown. Uh, Mike didn't have that, actually. And regardless of whether you have it or you don't, we'll teach you not to have it. You know, this is this is not just web hosting and building a no. business online. This is a family of people, truthfully, where we'll teach you in our academy to do it. So anyway, you know, Mike goes out and he refer he like does like thirty sales in two days, and I'm like, wow, that's that's exceptional, you know. And he did it by doing postcards and sending letters yeah, and I making went, some I, phone I calls. Old, I went old school on this. Because I, I, I didn't even know how to create an email, send out an email. No, you didn't. So it was, okay, here's the, you know, here's a list of people I know. All I knew was, was, was my affiliate link. That's all I needed. And, and he had to ask me for that a couple of times, yeah. but that's okay. That's, so that's how you want. my affiliate link, and I'm writing my affiliate link in handwritten letters um, that I, I mailed to some old prospects to people um, that I never snail mail, by the way, snail folks. Mail, not absolutely. not not email, because again, and he'd I, never send his it, first email. Yeah. No, exactly. And it was, I, you know, I targeted people that have always kept my, you know, my trust in me and my trust in them. Um, and to me, that you know, I, I'm all about 100% trust, and I never break it. So for me, it was very easy. And um, I, I even recall one time telling Joel that. Um, you know, we had a buddy that we went to school with that lives very close to our place. I said, watch this. I'm going to drop a letter in his mailbox. That's Malcolm McGilvery. And, um, yeah, lo and behold, and two days later, he's calling me. He's calling Joel. He's all excited, freaked out. i got to get on board with this. I want in. I want in. want in. But, yeah, that was my way on how to break it in. And then I found out, yes, old school ways do work. But, you know, there, there, there are newer ways. There's doing much better ways. Uh, online on how to do things like that but uh, that was my starting point so that was his starting point here's what's really interesting you know he was a stellar salesman and this is where Mike did have the fear amazing salesman he's going and doing the stone trade all day long lifting a hundred pound stones cutting carving you know all that kind of stuff putting his body through really everything possible you know oh, man. 
And then coming home at literally eight o'clock at night and then jumping on, on our webinar software and yeah. going through the internet and, and just doing it because he just thought it was amazing. Putting in another three, four hours. Yeah, so literally like 14 hours a day. Now you don't need to do that, why? Because you have the mentors now, but you do need to put in some time. But my point on this is. Turns into an obsession, it yeah. did for me, yeah. sorry. But, but he still had that fear and he'll validate this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, six months goes by and I'm saying to Mike, Mike, quit your job, come work with us. Quit your job, come work with us. Quit your job, come work with us. And I'm like, months and months, months, and, months and months and months. Finally, I got actually really peed off. I said, I don't know what the heck your problem is, but you're on the computer all night long. You could be doing this full time with me if you want to, and let's just do it. And so I ran off because I was, I, was, I was upset. Uh, and I almost never get upset because I'm like an angel. Yeah, but, you're upset. But anyway, and then so Mike comes walking off and I come back and lo and behold, he's got tears in his eyes. And I could almost get tearful now, guys, thinking about that because it was really touching for me. And he said to me, he goes, I'm afraid to fail you. And I just realized at that moment what it was. It was that fear of the unknown and stuff like that. And I said to Mike, I said, listen, if you went out every single day, whether it's online marketing or offline marketing or whatever, if you went out every single day for a year and you made one sale, that would be success to me. But if you went out on one day and made 40 sales, but then didn't do anything again for a year, that is non-success. So the point I'm trying to make is, you know, everybody has their time and place on when they're willing to take that leap of faith. It Every, took me a lot of time. Yeah, <laughs> it did. And, 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 and probably what helped you, Mike, with that leap of faith a little bit was the fact at least you knew I was doing it already. Yeah, exactly. These no, people no, are sure. not alone at this no, no, point. But no, anyway, no, I want no. him to give you the perspective of no, it as well. No, it's true. And Joel said, you know, it took me another six months. It definitely took me another six months. I was finishing up on uh, the last tail end of a four-year contract on the library and I, I you know it's not an excuse but I don't like leaving things hang I like to finish what I start kind of thing but it was a bad day we ended up losing a guy on our construction I site that. and um, that very same day I pulled into his office and I said that was it it was you know yes I mean I, I gained tons of knowledge these the, the, these masons took me under their wing they've tr showed me some incredible incredible secrets to the trade they like to say but it was you know I'm not gonna say it's, it was going nowhere it's just I wanted more and, you wanted uh, a change I, you yeah, deserved a change. I, I needed a change or uh, you know I needed a change <laughs> that's it that's all I can't explain it and and the change was sitting right in front of me so uh, I did take him up on his offer and then uh, I'm grinning for a second, and, and you know, it's a somber story, but I'll yeah, tell you yeah, why I'm sure, grinning. Sure. Because Mike pulls up to our office, he's, and it was like midday, and I'm like, oh, he's supposed to be at work. <laughs> he said he did it. Anyway, the funny part of that is, yeah. I get a call from his wife the next day, or the day after that, saying, do you know where Mike is? Because his boss called on the, on the, on, on the hill, and he's not there. So even he had taken the leap of faith, he still didn't tell his wife at that point. Well, tell, tell my wife or tell my boss on the hill. Now, I left things in good hands with a great stonemason, Lothar von Dannenberg, that's from the same city as Joel and I. Um, left things in his hands, and um, but again, I, I didn't tell the owner of the company just for the simple fact I didn't want to be talked into staying, staying or, or doing something I didn't want to continue doing. And um, I feared that a little bit, so I just kept things under the radar for three, four days. And uh, I knew in three, four days I'd be calling, calling the boss, letting him know exactly what was going on, which I did. That was Tony, wasn't it? The, yeah, the super, yeah, whatever, yeah. I, I don't I, know. Uh, uh, Tom Kelso. Okay, Tom. And um, you know he totally agreed. Uh, once I once I broke the ice with him and told him what was going on, um, you know we we left the conversation very very good, and uh, it was just simply go get him. You and Joel go get him, and uh, we've teamed up. And yeah, again. My wife had no clue either for three, four days. So no, I was no. quiet as a mouse and hammering a, things out with him. That's how it. scary it is, really. <laughs> it you know, was. It, 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 yeah. it is. It, it, it's, it, it's, it's, everybody likes to sit in their comfort zone. Everybody likes to do what they know. Mm -hmm. And what Mike and I are trying to tell you is we were in the exact same position. All I knew was how to do cardiac stress testing. Yeah. 
all Mike knew how to do was to pick up, well, I mean, no disrespect, does some amazing work, but he knew what he knew how to do. Yeah. Like you said, carve anything out of stone, but type on a PC, you know? Mm -hmm. And I said, I remember saying this to myself back in 1998, 1999, before I had even seen any success with it, is if I make this a success, I'm not going to drop people where I would, had been dropped so many times with no mentors, mm -hmm. no guidance, no education, no anything. We're here for you. You've made the right, to, you know, you made an impulsive decision, whether it's last night or last week, and you're coming along and you're starting to doubt yourself now. Did oh, I make the yes. right decision? Did I do the right thing? I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. I'm feeling a bit nervous. I don't know what the next steps are, those types of things. Let me tell you, that's validation that you did do the right thing. You're in the right place, believe me. We're going to help you. We're going to give you all the guidance to succeed. Below here on this post is the core commitments of what you want to do to make things happen. So like join our academy, watch our videos, give us a call, you know, Absolutely. things like that. Yeah. We're, we're here for you. Um, anything else, Mike, you want to say before? No, I'm excited. I'm, uh, I'm ready to get some uh, gear in order and, um, and move forward. That's what we do best. We want to help you succeed, guys. Don't listen to the naysayers don't do anything you know how many people by the way we had to pick up and move our company to texas because this was you know this is another story how many people back in our hometown who said oh those poor guys will be back in three months they're going to fail in texas that was five and a half years ago mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> why because when you have the right people the right guidance the right mentality we're going to help you do it we're going to make it happen for you so what worked for us can work for you. It will work for you. It, it will. Follow the commitments below. Post on this blog. Any comments, any concerns, anything at all. Anything. We're here for you. That's all we have to say. We're going to make it happen for you. Absolutely. So have an awesome day. You made the right decision. And we look forward to building that business with you. With you. Soon. Absolutely. Take care, folks. Take care. Bye for now. Great information. Now it's time for you to take action. Click the link below. Leave your name and email and start earning 100% commissions.